Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Why Nobody Play series. And in today's video, we're gonna be discussing one of the champions with the absolute best physique in the game. Like, bro, what? And that is none other than Silver Surfer, one of the more underrated champions in the game. And even though he does exist as a 7 star, a lot of people still sleep on this dude heavily. Pause. And of course, because he did win the last poll that I actually made, we're gonna be discussing why nobody plays him. But of course, like we always do with these kinds of videos, let's actually go over all of his abilities first, and then later on discuss why nobody plays him. I don't wanna see you anymore. What are you talking about? I don't know. It's over. I can do better, I can change. It's not that simple. We have problems, when people have problems, they, they work it out, they talk to each other. Look, you see? You know what this is? You know what I want for us? There's someone else! He takes minus 100% damage from Cold Snap, Incinerate, as well as Shock debuffs, and each stack of these abilities will count as a unique buff for any of his abilities. Each hit that he lands also deals a burst of energy damage for each unique buff that he currently has. The damage scales with base attack only unfortunately, but moving on to his power cosmic buff. At the start of the fight, he gains an indefinite power cosmic buff, and if this buff ends for any reason, it'll then return in 9 seconds, and while this power cosmic buff is active, he will then rotate between 3 dormant icons every 2 seconds in the order of combat power rate, fury, and then armor up. Consuming the power cosmic buff will then convert the dormant icon into an active buff and then inflict 3 armor break debuffs, each reducing the opponent's armor rating by a certain amount for 12 seconds, and the max stacks of these that he can actually place is 3. Now each time he creates a rotating buff that does not already exist, he refreshes all of the active buffs, and his combat power rate buff increases his combat power rate by 15% for 15 seconds, and his fury buff increases attack rating by a certain amount for 24 seconds, and as for the armor up buff, it increases armor rating by a certain amount for 24 seconds, and while he's charging a heavy attack, he consumes the power cosmic buff and creates a phase buff causing the opponent's attack to miss, which is a 100% chance, and this phase buff actually lasts for 1.1 seconds. As for his special attacks, they pause the duration of his power cosmic buff cooldown, his dormant rotating icons, as well as all of the active buffs until the special attack ends. But of course, speaking of special attacks, the special one. If the power cosmic buff is available, It'll then be consumed and create two buffs based on whichever dormant icon was active. And if there's at least three unique buffs that are active when launching the attack, he will then gain a vigilance buff which allows all of his attacks to bypass miss for 12 seconds. The special two. The potency of any bursts of energy or physical damage will be increased by 180% for the duration of the special attack, and if he has at least 3 unique buffs when he launches the attack, he will then create an unblockable buff which lasts for 4 seconds. Also in terms of animations, this is one of the better looking specials. And last but not least, the special 3. He gains an aptitude buff which increases the potency of his fury, armor up as well as precision buffs by 25% for 24 seconds and it also re-triggers each of his rotating buffs and the max of these will be 1. Each aptitude buff that is on Silver Surfer will also increase the potency of his combat power rate buffs by 25% but moving on to the awakened ability, all of the buffs on Silver Surfer will have a 5 to 50.64% increased potency and that is pretty much it for his abilities a very standard as well as generic cosmic kit gaining buffs and then inflicting armor break pretty much just the basics 
and he also has some slight utility when it comes to him actually taking reduced damage from shock, incinerate as well as cold snap debuffs and I can pretty much say that his kit is well designed. But of course moving on to this man's attire and he doesn't have one what the dude is going around the contest showing it all even a bomb is wearing something man come on now and once again we have another bold character bro what is going on but of course he is the silver surfer he doesn't need no drip he doesn't need any hair because just look at him look at the physique if he was any fatter or any skinnier nah it wouldn't be it not to mention he's always on his surfboard which is just one of the coolest things in the game in terms of design i would pretty much give this a 7 maybe an 8 out of 10 simply because that's it there's nothing else to judge no clothes no shoes no nothing just a silver man who's been going to the gym like crazy but anyways on to the topic of why nobody plays him now when i pulled this dude as a seven star I didn't really know if I should be happy or sad, which is why I didn't make any video about him. But after testing him as well as playing him for a while, he's a very good as well as consistent damage dealer. Now of course his damage is not the best when compared to other cosmic champions, but it's definitely not something that should be underestimated, cause in my opinion he might even be in the top 10 cosmic champions. Now I do have to say that his animations are a bit wonky, his heavy attack range is pretty short. What I mean is that you pretty much have to get used to playing the character a bit in order for you to feel comfortable with playing him cause even though he does have some safety nets when it comes to the phasing, he isn't the most reliable when it comes to safety. And this is especially important because some of his buffs might go away and in attempts to actually refresh them you might get hit. Actually this might just be a skill issue but yeah. Overall he is not a bad champion at all. He's pretty much just in a situation where in the contest we have so many new champions as well as so many new things to deal with and newer cosmic champions are pretty much just better suited to the job as compared to him. In my opinion he's very underrated as well as a very slept on champion. In longer fights he can pretty much do fights faster than Galen as well as Hulkling. I'm not too sure about CGR but that alone already tells you enough that this character is an absolute beast and one that should not be slept on at all. In my opinion Silver Surfer is an amazing champion, one with a bit of utility as well as one with a lot of damage, as well as one that I would recommend you taking up only if it's as a 7 star. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed, let me know down in the comments who next I should make a video on, make sure to join my discord group the link will be down in the description and uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!